Hello and welcome to North Wilkesboro. We are racing the fixed late model series here and uh, just getting ready to do some qualifying. I've apparently done this combo before, but I don't have any memory of it. Uh, I had like laps logged already in the past, but for some reason I just have no memory whatsoever of how it went or anything. So that's kind of interesting. Couldn't have been too long ago either because I just bought North Willowsboro not even that long ago to do an ARCA race, I think it was. Oddly enough. So, um, <laughs> we, uh, we are going to try to qualify the best we can here, but I don't feel too fast. I feel like I'm a little off pace. Still just uh, have never really fully understood North Wilkesboro. It's a very, very unique, very different track, and uh, I don't feel like I've ever kind of gotten a full grasp of how to run it. So, we'll see what happens here, but... I, uh... don't know how well it's gonna go. That didn't feel very good. Felt like I had no grip at all. Doing my best. We'll see if we can uh, do any better on the second lap here, but not holding my breath. Yeah, I don't know, man. That wasn't very good. That kind of stunk. I kind of expected that, though. I just, I can't figure this place out whatsoever to save my life. And I'll try not to be in too ma bad a mood about it. I'm having, like, a bad mood day. Had some really frustrating races recently. So, try not to let that bleed over into this, but... I just, I don't know. I can't figure out what line I'm supposed to be running uh, here. Like, you run low, you don't get the run off. You run high. And sometimes it feels like it sticks pretty good. Sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know. I just, I don't know how to drive this place. It's kind of just the way it is. I'm, I'm going to have to look at how other people are running it and stuff, I guess. Oops. Probably not running it by hitting the wall. Nice job. <laughs> I tried to see if I could, like, run as high as possible and see how that helps, but obviously that didn't work out so well. Oh, man, come on. We've got someone that's not even here, unfortunately, so... Going to have to wait the whole time unless they show up five car. We would be going right now if not for that. Did they show up at all ever? Yeah, they disconnected. So, Hmm, interesting. The chat back on. Interesting, 97-97 just after a couple laps, so tires apparently are going to be kind of important. I feel like I'm getting sideways already. So I don't know if I really want to be lowering the brake bias, but I could just be overdriving too. I don't know. There's a lot of unknowns here for me. This kind of stinks. I feel like like if someone's don't you have a late model go put together? I feel like if someone's not even in the session, like do we really have to even wait for them for real? I don't know. Copy. But we did get a split here. It is Monday night. So we've got a decent bit of participation. I'm still the number one, unfortunately. 2.0 strength of field. This guy's pretty high up there, isn't he? 4.3? Yeah. But not quite there. It's my I wish they would fix that uh, bug where London skipping has Skipping ahead didn't bug out. Everyone always thinks this is the NASCAR driver Landon Huffman, but it's not. It's a Landon S. Huffman, a different guy. Like, literally in the practice ahead of time, he was in there, and people were like, Hey, Landon, big fan. It's like, this is a different guy, I promise you. First and last name are the same, but it's not the same guy. <sighs> so that's kind of funny. Me too, man. Happy to be here, though. So about 30 oh, more seconds or so. Sub from we'll 19 wait. lap time. 
I definitely haven't been able to get close to the getting in the 18s. I did get a 19125 in practice, but couldn't pull that off here. I'm not paying attention to what they're saying. I don't know what they're talking about. But... Hmm. I just, I hope this is at least a clean race, I guess. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going to do very well. That's the end of the session. P7. Like I said, not feeling too good today, but I just, I kind of hope that at least I can make it to the end. You'll be lining up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. Good luck, guys. Get fast prepare ready, because we need it. We're on the inside. I don't know if that matters so much as it does at other places, though. Because it seems like the outside line might be... Might have some decent speed here. Wilkesboro can be a little bit messy on iRacing, it seems like. So I am a little bit nervous about how this is going to look. But the late model... Excuse me. Sorry, yawning. The late model usually brings out the best in some of these short tracks just because of uh, the way it drives. Like last week, of course, Martinsville actually wasn't so bad, so maybe we'll get a good race here. Who's hoping? Follow car number 11. In the inside lane. Second gear start, looks like maybe. Pretty cool we have this track on iRacing, considering it was almost dead and gone for a while and now it's coming back even in the in the real world it's the all-star race right they're gonna make it that's gonna be really uh that's gonna be a fun one to watch i think one to go next time by we got people warming their tires up the 14 with a very nice qual lap to get p2 Have a good race, everybody. Yeah, let's do that. Get ready, going green. <laughs> Trying to get a good jump too, watching this too. Get ready. Ice car is in. Green flag, green flag. We're using it into the corner, that's fine. Outside clear. Outside clear, I'll leave a door Outside. open though for um Still there, hold your line. Outside clear. Oh boy. Alright, we're off and running. Car outside. Okay, we are Go off and spinning. Keep low. I somehow dodged it. Go low. Outside is clear. Car outside. Clear high. Okay. The leader has just done a 19.2. You're in fifth. Car outside. I'm drifting up too much. That was not very good. I almost uh, drifted up into three. Don't want to do that. Fastest lap for Huffman, 19.1. The car Inside. has just done a 19.5. I'm gonna run in a higher line in turns one and two. I felt like I could hit that more consistently when I was doing my laps. I don't know if that's actually the best way around, though. You've just done a Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> They're side by side, kind of just waiting for this to sort out. Almost overdriving it again. Really don't want to get into the back of him or anything or slide up into him. B5. 
car outside. Stay low. Still there. Outside. All right, got around him. This is going pretty well, actually. Better than I thought it would. Overdrove that. It's not very good. Man, this place is tough. Just gonna try to hit my marks. Obviously, the leader's off and running. He's having a good run. Two car, or you know, the P2 trying to get up to him. 14's got this place figured out, though. Punching way above his weight class, so to speak. It's a good job to him, for sure. I'm kind of trying to see what other guys are doing. I think I'm overdriving turns one and two a lot. I think I'd probably want to be lower down the track than I normally am, especially on exit. That'd probably serve me well. I'm just making sure to be patient on throttle too, so I don't end up pushing off into the wall. You've just done it, 19.4. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Yeah, that lower exit actually, I think, might be a little bit better for me. So maybe just keep a little lower on the track. That's what I need. We got a second behind us. That's good. Okay, leader, just tell me where I'm gonna go, and I'll go there. I'm actually gonna put the brake bias back a little bit. I was happy with it initially, but I'm kind of wishing I had a little more more turn now. So we're gonna move it back. 54. Oh, cool. So we got <laughs> payback happening, I guess. Judging by what that sounded like. So that's great. I hope we don't end up caught in that mess. Thank you. <laughs> that was definitely a threat, I just heard. Your last lap time was at 19.5. I don't know, maybe I'll try again that higher line in 1 and 2 next time around, see how it compares to session last lap. Really seeming like that low line 3 and 4 is the way to go, though. Mm. I feel like I overdrove that. Don't think I have anything for the 3. It seems like he's just got a little bit more pace. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, you guys are much faster than me, so I'm going to let you guys go. I think maybe low side one and two might be still the way I want to do it. Your lap time was 19. Making sure I get this thing uh, slowed down. I don't know, actually. I think I just gotta hit my marks no matter what line I do. And I'm not really that good at doing that here. The gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. Hmm. Well, that guy's not gonna get his revenge unless he already did. Because he has left. Probably for the best for everybody. Time was 19.6. Man, I just I don't feel very fast. I'm, you know, somewhat happy with being P4. It's better than I thought I was gonna get after a P7 starting spot. So, and there's something to be said about that, I guess. That last lap was at 19.6. See, that was like almost a full tenth faster. through one and two last time, so we almost pushed up into the wall. You've just done Team it. spinning, don't overcorrect. I said don't overcorrect. What we do? Yeah, that's why I don't just hold the brake. You knock your wheels out of alignment. 
gap in front is increased. Probably best just to not overcorrect back onto the racing surface next time. God, man, the race is going so good. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> it's just how all my races have been going lately. I mean, this is still okay. I think we're decent right now. Car's broken. And got a 2x from that. But so far, still moving. We're only halfway through this thing, though, and uh, now I've got a broken car, so that's not fantastic. You've just done a 19.7. Try to do my best, try to hold off the 16, but. Don't know if I'm going to be quite as competitive anymore. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Halfway home. Yeah, I just cannot figure out how to get this thing working. 16 is definitely going to pass me at some point. I just, I cannot decide between what I like in 1 and 2. If I like that higher line or if I like the lower line. I think I'll keep trying to hit that. That seems at least to be more consistent for me. Sorry, Nathan. But holding on to P4 for now. 16's there though, he's real close. That was a 19.6. I just hope he races me clean. And I just have to trust that he's not going to dive it in and slide up into me or something. He's having a great run as the 16. Well, that was a 19.6. Inside. Clear. Whew. Uh, at least the car doesn't seem to be driving too much differently. Even with the damage. Really close to my rear end. Nearly coming up and getting me. about diving it in. I had to leave him room in case he decided to do it because I'm not really interested in getting wrecked. We'll fight for it. This is all we have to fight for left, but... Still there, I don't think I have much of a chance. Stay high. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Yeah, you got it. We'll put pressure on him, see if we can get around him later. For now, he has earned it. He did it the right way. Your last lap time was at 19.8. 
He's got a better understanding, though, I think, of how to drive this place. He looks like he's maximizing the corners and just getting the getting more speed out of it. I don't know. Maybe it's a tire thing. Maybe I should be more worried about saving tires. It's sideways a little bit. I feel like he still pulled away from us that corner, though. He's just faster. Would it seem? I really need him to make a mistake if I want to have another chance at him. Okay. Speaking of, I'm just going to hit the wall and get another 2x because I'm just driving like trash lately. Oh, what's wrong with me? Incredibly frustrating here. racing lately. It's all my own fault. That guy again, having wrecked, I guess. That's the same guy that overcorrected and back onto the surface, isn't it? At least we should be able to hold on to the top five for what that's worth. Still better than, I guess, what I expected after qualifying seventh and just not being very good here at all. And this feels like a long race. These races are usually pretty quick. Maybe it's just because it's been a rough one for me. It feels like this has been much longer than more uh, than most fixed late model races. Thank you. You got five left to go. That was a nineteen point eight. So, five to go, now coming to four to go. Kind of stinky performance from me, but oh well. They're battling for second. There could be uh, the potential for contact. I see them swapping places on the relative. I just saw some smoke and now there's like a half second gap between them, so maybe something already happened. Two to go. Let's get a little bit of grass, I guess. White flag, one more left to go. Last lap. White flag. One more to go. Got Kinda found our own little pocket here. Got a little bit boring. But just gonna hit the grass a couple more times, I guess. Alright, Colton, push now. We can catch up here. Bit of a rough one, but still top right, five, I guess. Right. Don't lose too much eye rating. Good race, guys. Good one one. Well done, mate. Good the flag. Finish. It's over. Thank you. Nice run. Solid work. Alright. Race, good win. At least that battle for uh, second place must have been pretty good. Because uh, they're saying good job. So, 75 75. So, um, if we overdid the tires, we overdid both of them, I guess. So, P5 after starting seven. So, I guess I gained a little bit overall. But there was a spin, which we will see here in a moment. 
We got some freebies. Oh, I see. Okay, so the nine got into the back of the three, and that's how he ended up spinning. Now, he was pretty far back, too. He really overdrove the corner into the back of the three. So I'm barely able to avoid this. Whoa. Yeah, I kind of, like, I didn't want to just slam on the brakes, because then I was assuming I was going to get run over from behind. So once I see him getting sideways... You can see I get on the brakes, I slow it down, and then I just kind of do everything I can just to get around him and then start going as quickly as possible. Thankfully it worked out. Just a little bit of bumpers happening. Ooh. an interesting exchange. So the eight's not there. But he drives in hard and then doesn't actually get to the bottom. Runs into the back of the six. But it hurts him more than the six, so... I guess that's fair. Six having some trouble, though. Getting the wall. Letting the four get around him here. You're three wide up ahead. Ooh. Interesting. So maybe the 13 was maybe worried about what was happening in front of him. He kind of reaches the guy ahead of him real quick. And I don't know if he touches him or if he like has to get on the brake and it like really messes up the exit of his corner. But six looked like he tried to avoid him and just couldn't. Eight not holding their line really. Pretty high up the track. Isn't that how we got into the six earlier too? So it's kind of just using up the six. A couple of guys under the wall. Seven follows the eleven. Fourteen ended up finishing second, didn't he? Yeah, look at that. One hundred eight eye rating gained. That's pretty good. Being into the wall, I don't gain 100 I rating anymore. I only lose 100 I rating. Even if I win a race, I don't get 100 anymore. So the eight running into the back of somebody else. He's making habit out of it. It looks like. So it nearly spins the 11, but the 11 saves it. Fifteen, then just corrects it back onto the track. Yeah, I mean, he, he's like spinning, and like, once you're down in the grass like that, once you already have your 1x and everything, just hold it down there. There's no reason to turn your wheel back right and then end up being how far off the pace in the racing line? About 40 miles an hour almost? Like, no, nah, that's not good. And then is that him down there? No, that's somebody else. Oh, the four. I, I remember he actually... Yeah. He just sits in the racing line. Yeah, you gotta just get out of the way. If you're spinning... Nine gets the wall. Ten just plows through the twelve. Maybe looking at the car on the grass rather than what's ahead of him. Oh, maybe a blink or something. This idiot hitting the wall. Oh, I don't know. I just I'm not very good at this track, clearly. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to be faster and to wasn't willing to do that for me. So we've got lap traffic here. 
too far off the wall probably. Seven doesn't really give it much room though either. And uh, when you have both of those things happening, that's this is the result. So, unfortunate there. We'll tap, and is that it? Sure is. All right, so it was an okay race. We still got a top five. And uh, gained some spots. Just not very good here, so I'll take what I can get. Um, got into the one sliding lap car and then decided to uh, try to expand the track a little bit and tear down the wall. Didn't work. <laughs> got a 2x for that, too, so... Uh, not the finest race, but still an okay result, I guess. Um, shout out to the 14 and 16. Very good races. 16 made the pass cleanly and uh, got himself a great finish as the lowest or the highest car number in here. Zero X. So very nice run to him. And uh, same with the 14. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.